Hello friends, good afternoon all of you and let's begin for CIP. Uh, let's try to understand each day we people are just uh, approaching or becoming closer towards our exams and uh, if you think that time is going to come when the people are going to have everything normalized maybe at the uh, probably at the end of this semester perhaps you people are going to come physical in the classes so uh, why not we people should be ready to face the the challenges which will be there because those people who studied earlier for uh, two years three years online and now those students who are not comfortable with offline these students need to take care that it is going to be again normalized and all classes will be offline and you people have to prepare yourself those advantages that you people use to get off online uh, you have to be again uh, adaptable for offline classes as well and not only classes but with classes it comes lots of things that you people are going to experience but major we should have uh, our goal and we have to focus on that only so let's think that how you people are doing on aptitude how you people are working on your communication and how you're developing your technical skills so after all it is all about skills and knowledge and not about degree and marks okay so if you realize this if you know this per, uh, perfectly that uh, marks and degree are just everyone is going to get so those students who are learning everyone it is not only you people there are thousands of students around you uh, from maharashtra and outside outside of maharashtra who are going to get marks and degree okay so there is no any novelty or there is nothing new to think of marks and degree but uh, that is not the same case with skills and knowledge okay everyone is not going to get the same skills those who are going to pass their btech not all are going to have the same skills not all are going to have the same knowledge so here you can make a difference in your activities so where you can focus marks and degree of course you are going to get it you are going to study for that there is no doubt no question about it okay but uh, you know there are number of students who are not working for skills they are not paying attention towards their technical skills their soft skills their communication skills there are number of students who are not working on aptitude there are number of students who are not taking care of their technical skills so here if we realize this if i want to work in the industry if i want to get a good job if i want to make my career a bright then i have to work on these things where people are not working okay other people are not realizing this that aptitude is important communication is important or how they are going to start their career so all you people need to ask yourself where you people will be after uh, let's say two years imagine after two years your life okay where it will be uh, right now you people are in second year so you might have completed your third year final year probably you will be in final year and this will be a peak period for all of you to face a lot of companies, a lot of recruitment process that you people might be facing. And there you have to just judge yourself. There you have to check yourself whether you are fit to face any of the companies and placements or simply you are getting rejected one after another company simply because you do not possess the skills which are required there or simply because of uh, you have poor communication skills and you are uh, you qualified first round but you could not qualify interview round or is it like this in the first round itself in aptitude itself you people were thrown out of the process and then you were regretting oh uh, how i spent my lockdown period how i uh, attended my online classes and now i'm of uh, no use that i can make of my that free time which i got so here you people can think uh, there are so many students i see on uh, linkedin profile they are just uploading their number of certificates are there internships and courses and classes these people are doing which probably number of times it's free of course that they can make use of so on that level also you check yourself where you are exactly are you doing such things activities which are uh, co-curricular activities extracurricular activities and as far as these things projects you people have to focus on 
which projects you are working on uh what is the principle how you are just collecting it what are the difficulties that you are facing while doing projects because there should be the projects that you people are doing actually working on it it should not be that uh, from somewhere from ready made from uh, maybe by not doing anything you are doing projects that is not going to help you a lot rather than actually uh, genuinely you people have to work on projects and all those things because uh, you may face some questions based on your projects also uh, so why not we people are thinking in that direction so let's imagine let's think of our dream job dream company and then think what requires to go there which skills do i have to possess or uh, what kind of knowledge i have to increase so accordingly am i doing am i reading that much or only i'm just passing time these days because of this online classes uh, i have smartphone in my hand and how much time do i spend uh, do i attend online lectures or simultaneously do i make use of social media youtube for the purpose of entertainment so how much time and how much days you are going to spend like this only you to count single day single hour single minute and single second you people need to make utilize that is going to count for you it is not going to be wasted and if you are wasting you will be throwing back and you will be a part of crowd okay you will be proud of uh, you will be part of ordinary people and rather than if you are making use of every hour each hour each day you are going to be different than others uh, in terms of skills knowledge and there you people can make difference than uh, you and other people and easily you can get so there are so many things to learn okay there are so many things that you can do during this time and uh, you just try to make best use of this opportunity so with this positive notes i hope that last time we people tried to uh, have discussions about health and wealth okay uh, even today also we people will plan to have discussions but let's see uh, uh, how we can participate uh, ma many students are very reluctant to participate they are not expressing their thoughts freely they do not feel i don't know what problem is there maybe they are not confident or maybe sometimes topics are there but it is not always topics will be simple and topics will be in favor only so that you people have to speak you need to learn how to speak on the topics which are not in your favor sometimes topics are uh, maybe tough or difficult for such topics also how you people are going to face that is important so uh, you should not expect topic topic should be anything if any topic comes i should be ready for Uh, expressing my view i will talk about maybe some introductory part or i will talk about at least one or two point i i will be able to speak that should be your preparation and for that i have told you already you can make use of uh, india big website is there career ride is there and uh, there are so many uh, online topics that you keep reading with solutions they have provided so our task is to just keep reading it try to digest it try to understand it and not only just read but try to reproduce it in your own words that is important because there are many students who are getting a lot of input but as far as output is concerned as far as expression is concerned they are not able to express what they know again that should not be our problem we are not a kind of inbox only we are getting it we are having taking only input 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 and we don't have any output so that should not be happen so whatever we are able to take in we should be able to explain it so what you understand ensure that you are able to understand it to others for example one term one concept if i am able to understand it from reading so same concept i should be able to explain it to someone else and he or she should be in position to understand me that way you people have to uh, practice it or rather than uh, again you try to practice this that uh, whatever you understand you can tell it to your friend try to teach him okay try to teach him because you know uh, teaching is learning twice if you are teaching it means you are learning twice because for teaching you have to be clear first yourself if you are clear then only you will teach it to others okay so uh, always prefer that whatever you know you are going to teach it to your friends uh, this way you are going to become uh, more clear with the concepts let it be that was just a thought i would like to make you people realize so that you are not wasting your time you are 
uh, maybe working on it and you're going to develop your skills. So let me know uh, which topic we should discuss today. Do you have any topics? Can you suggest me some topics that we can take it for discussion today? So those who have some topics, you can send me. Uh, in chat box, you can send me. Let's see that if any topics we can pick up out of it. Yes, for GD only, I'm asking, I'm, I want some suggestions, any topics if you have. <clears throat> so uh, can we have discussion? on cryptocurrency let's think whether this topic is suitable for you convenient for you cryptocurrency as an investment option let's think if you're able to speak about it how much you know because uh, i will give two to three topics you just decide Cryptocurrency, fuel price rise, causes, impact and solutions. Out of these two topics, you just choose one. We will go accordingly. Unemployment. Out of three, you can choose now. So just let me know which topic you think will be suitable. Reply immediately. Don't take much time, okay? Because already we are having short of time, and in that. So others just reply, I'm getting only one response. So on that, how can decide which topic is good for you? So should we go for fuel price rise? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, all right. All right, so out of these three, we will go with this one, second one, fuel price rise. So here you people have specifications like causes, why that uh, keeps rising, what's its impact? and what can be solutions from that point of view you people can just think so right now it is four four okay so you people will get five minutes at four nine sharp you people will start so think about find some information uh write down some points be clear how you can start the discussion how to participate how to agree, how to disagree, how to support, okay? Uh, how to differ, how to apologize. Try to find some uh, data, statistic, percentage that will help you to talk about. And see, we are having class of at least uh, more than 120 students should be there. Out of that, only 10 to 15 students are active. I have been telling this since first class. Very few students are who are proactively participating. What about all those students? So uh, 
don't you want to prepare yourself don't you want to just make yourself a better in communication how you are going to check that i am able to speak though you are making mistakes even then also you just participate you know that if you are participating your confidence will go high will feel that yes i can speak something like this and if you think that my communication is not good okay i will uh, try next time maybe next year i will speak or i will learn some grammar and then i speak you are going to uh, speak never so don't wait every time you should think that this is the opportunity that i am getting so i have to make use of this i will speak something at least one sentence i am going to contribute this way you people have to participate you should not be like uh, those speaking are those people who are speaking let them speak i have nothing to do i will just get connected so uh, that's all so my my attendance will be marked and i'm fine no you shouldn't be fine with only attendance okay you have to be worried you should feel that how i'm going to improve my communication what can i do okay so uh, you take some responsibility of your own it doesn't mean that you are joining for cip session so your uh, communication is going to be improved automatically it is not going to happen like this until and unless you yourself are going to take efforts you are learning something you are reading something you are listening something and after all you are speaking whatever you got it whatever you read it whatever you listened whatever you you have just came to you you try to reproduce the same content in your own words then only it is going to be possible simply listening you know i have told you number of times if you are listening all the times you will find that english is quite simple people are speaking very nice they have nice ideas nice thoughts their communication is very nice their uh, fluency is very good you are understanding everything but when it comes up your turn to speak that is not possible for you you are having fear nervousness and you feel that i can't speak this problem will be always with you why because you are not speaking you are not expressing you are not having oral communication so let it should not happen we know what can happen so we need to find solution for this also so only solution is practice practice of oral communication and here in cip sessions that those who are able to make use that's fine but apart from that you should come together in groups and you discuss daily i think that i have told it for number of times but even then also i feel that you should practice it in groups So I think it is exact time. So it will be better if we start. So we'll discuss it for fifteen minutes. Usually, you know, time limit is ten minutes, but usually we are taking more time so that uh, we people can speak it for everything. So fifteen minutes we are going to discuss, and uh, let's begin. Good afternoon, friends. Myself Sathya Yadav. I am glad to start this discussion. Friends, the topic. Uh, the topic given to us for the discussion is fuel price rise causes impact and solution in my opinion this topic is uh, very uh, sensitive so india lives one of the highest taxes of petroleum and diesel in the world as inflation increases the cost of borrowing petroleum and all 
fuels and the cost of petroleum will automatically get increased. So now I invite you to give your opinion on your on our given topic. Let us start. Yes, the fuel prices fuel prices in India are too much greater than other countries. By the surveys, fuel tax on across the world in India there are sixty nine percent taxes applied on the uh, applied on the fuel, while in Italy sixty four percent. While US has minimum taxes on the fuel, uh, they it it have only nineteen percent. Hence, the fuel in US is very cheap. According to me, fuel price is not just a, a fuel price. It is the addition of several factors like um, crude oil price, refinery charges, transport charges, including commission of dealers, and several additional taxes which are imposed by the government. So, if they are cancelled, it will be beneficial for everyone. <laughs> as we know at uh, today's day the fuel prices is, is uh, rising very rapidly so i think the mo one of the most uh, uh, cause behind it uh, reason behind it because of the uh, increase of the population because of population the rate of usability is un also increases and uh, that's why the uh, storage of the fuel is uh, decreasing that's why that uh, is most affect uh, uh this is the reason that's why increasing in fuel price though the fuel prices fuel prices are increasing we can use non fueling vehicles like uh, e bikes or e e cycles like uh, cycles e bikes they cannot consume fuels and they are also environment friendly yes ritesh you are right i am totally agree with you uh, with that also our environment is also um, protected because of our uh, daily fuel like petrol diesel the carbon dioxide is also increases in our environment so that is very uh, harmful for our health uh, and uh, uh, with that uh, the our environment is also getting harmful so the e bike or e cycle is uh, one of the really uh, good solution on the, the on this yes i agree with both of you we should we must prefer public transport over private because at present almost all families uh, have their own vehicles it means uh, each family at least have two vehicles some people think that uh, it shows their status or it may be necessity of some families but we should prefer public transport in instead of private and we must pre prefer cng based vehicles instead of uh, importing uh, re refined oil from other country yes i agree with her many people are using vehicles in an unnecessary work they should minimize or stop these uh, unnecessary uses usage of fuel fuels on their personal vehicles most of the people uses the vehicles for a small work uh, rather than we can use their bicycle and uh, electric bike so that is uh, not harmful to our environment and uh, it saves the 
environmental problem uh, it saves us uh, from near environmental problem and uh, we can achieve uh, better uh, better lifestyle and uh, better uh, we can uh, we can do exercise and we can uh, uh, do exercise by using cycling See, you are having causes, impact, solutions. So see, you have touched for everything. According to my knowledge, our country, India, nearly import nearly 80% of petrol and diesel. So these prices are largely dependent on the prices of these fuels in the international market. When these prices go up, uh, automatically the prices rises that burden is passed over the consumer. Also because of COVID loss, uh, I think government is trying to cover up that loss by applying uh, various taxes on these uh, petrols and diesel. Yes, you are totally right. I totally agree with you. Because of this uh, Corona situation, uh, there are uh, lots of taxes are uh, also increases and uh, uh, again the fuel price is increasing but uh, because of that the um, most uh, effect uh, um, is lie on the people uh, who really uh, not afford that fuel price. by the excessive use of the uh, vehicles and the uh, fuel uh, our environment uh, is dam our environment uh, get polluted and uh, that um, uh, that's why uh, this uh, um, from this uh, human's health also are also uh, human health are affected by this cause and uh, the solution of that is to use the bicycles and uh, other non fuel uh, vehicles which are uh, uh, which are helpful to uh, reduce the environmental uh, reduce environmental pollution and that is the necessary for the today's and uh, today's time Due to increasing rate of uh, prices of fuels, prices of cheap objects or gadgets are also increased due to transporting charges or uh, something else, which is not comfortable to common man. There should some of the uh special facility to take the fuel there should be restriction on the fuel but not uh, uh, the, this is a bypass way for to decrease in fuel because uh, the 
rate is uh, increasing and that will again increase that will not going to decrease right now so with the help of uh, some of the suggestion like my suggestion is that to uh, uh, decrease the rate of uh, fuel is the to uh, there should be restriction if uh, at a at every person there should be restriction that uh, he would not use uh, more than this limit if suppose he want to went to out of some area or suppose he uh, uh, want to go uh, far away then uh, there should be some of the facilities for only for those so not for all like there are the uh, lots of lots of students which were just uh, for the some of the their trade just for party they take lots of fuel they just uh, as uh, again we are know about the bullet which is really a very uh, produce a uh, high level of carbon dioxide gas so again the restriction on that uh, particular bike particular vehicles which, which are really increasing the rate of carbon dioxide in our environment so we need to think about that and uh, with this i really think that the price uh, rate will decrease yes and there is also some uh, there is also some advantages uh, like it could reduce local uh, air pollution plus uh, less car traffic overall means it uh, could be safer for other road users for like uh, cyclists or motorcyclists etc yes using cycles and e bikes are all, is also useful to our health so using cycle is one of the best exercise and it can it can minimize the consumption of fuel and also it increases the uh, gdp of our india that makes uh, to uh, go forward uh, in uh, gdp ratio of another country but i think the main reason of price raising in fuel is uh, applied a taxes by state government and central government which are uh, too too much yes and uh, we all known what is the reason behind that so uh, because of the lots of uh, as we know in today's day uh, because of corona the dose the rate of dose are uh, nearly about 75% of our indian people are taken doses and uh, that where are really costly because they are not uh, they are created by our india but uh, they are uh, taking a, a, a really a high price for that high cost for that so that's why uh, the taxes are higher Okay, so last one minute. We expect but, uh, conclusion but, uh, here. So for the pandemic situation, there is also a price rise is high in fuel kind of area. That is, but uh, I think this is also again the solution because of that people not uh, wander uh, out of the society. As we know, uh, before the price is low, then the people wander here and there because of the rate of fuel is really low. So th that's why people are uh, 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 wandering here and there because of the fuel price is low. Uh, that's why I think because of uh, increase in rate, the again the uh, the people at uh, the uh, low very much rate of people stay. together conclusion we want now conclusion here if these prices 
will keep increasing in the upcoming days there will be a uh, huge burden on people that whether they own their own their own vehicle or not high fuel prices are increasing the cost of transport also so i think government needs to work on reforms on uh, petroleum pricing and they should uh, focus on uh, producing a fuel instead of importing it and instead of increasing the taxes uh, they should create more revenue resources uh, such as increasing the number of people uh, who can pay taxes and as well as recovering the uh, loans of public sector banks and also we should prefer alternative sources like cars sorry mm -hmm. e bikes and cycles over the bikes and cars okay all right so uh, here i would like to tell that this discussion is over now and uh, this was again fantastic discussion all the group members participated well but uh, point is that very less member participated okay so to begin with pratik you uh, began it well uh, i feel just a little bit energy is required because uh, start is good but you should use a kind of tone or there should be a kind of energy that has to be felt okay so you should begin like that maybe uh, good afternoon friends and today we are going to have discussion over this topic so a kind of tone uh, you can just try to change and bring a kind of energy in your beginning overall it was good and other point that you raised that were also relevant here uh, ritesh sharayu i think that you people are also doing nice closing was also nice from sharayu so uh, you people just think that you people have potential and you are doing also but a little bit extra practice that you people have to do you know what happens right now also because we are talking a uh, completely different topic okay we don't have any idea about this so we are discussing it at the 11th hour or without preparation so it may happen that's okay but if we practice more you know that whatever the thoughts are there in your mind you are able to make them into sentences and that is a kind of success that is a kind of change that we people are able to see here and if you are doing this it means that you are making progress you are improving so little bit uh, next level we people need to achieve uh, from this so for as far as basic communication is concerned nobody has problem those who participated here but let's see how we can take it to the next level with uh, a little bit fluency if we could add here and if we can practice so try to speak on any topic okay try to speak on any topic try to make sentences without hesitation how to uh, make sentences phrases uh, here you people increase your vocabulary okay so you should always find uh, what are the here we people use the vocabulary which is related with fuel taxes environment pollution e bikes etc and what are other vocabulary which is related with this topic that you people try to collect it and think how you can put all those things into together to make it one paragraph to uh, it should be with a logical sequence that you are expressing it again i would like to tell you that there was a proper coordination everyone is trying to support agreeing disagreeing or uh, disagree was not here nobody disagreed here but everyone was uh, using these phrases yes, i agree uh, you are right so these phrases were used uh, again uh, all people participated samruddhi and satnappa you can have increased your participation because uh, speaking just for one time is not sufficient you just try to sometimes you can uh, express your different opinions also okay it is not necessarily all the time you have to support we can have different opinions also so i think that satnappa expressed his different opinion about the taxes from state and central government so that like you people can have Uh, so samruti you also try to increase your participation that we people are expecting here more vijay uh, that is also very important points you people have raised here about environment issues uh, e bikes and uh, for short distances we people can use bikes and all those things so avishkar uh, i think that you people avishkar pratik ritesh sharayu you people are really nice you are doing it vijay you are also there samruti and satnappa you just work how we can just add it more so overall it was nice discussion but uh, see almost we people were 120 22 25 out of that eight students only participated that is not fair at all uh, at least 10 to 15 students were expecting and you know that actual group discussion uh, you will not get that much kind of time also because everybody try to grab their opportunity and they will try to express their views 
so there you can't wait let them finish and so then i can speak or don't just try to be uh, in position to restrict yourself from expressing your thoughts so try to be in a natural flow of discussion it should be a kind of natural flow of discussion that we people saw here but as i told you we are expecting here next level a little bit fluency and natural communication so that's all from my side for feedback okay so uh, let's see you people just prepare one more topic so that we can have a discussion in next session so which topic you can prepare for next time we can take one prepared and one uh, on the spot topic two discussions we will have okay so uh, we will finalize one topic here right now and that topic you people prepare find information and we'll discussion uh, on next session that will be prepared discussion and one topic uh, we people have that will be uh, on the spot topic right now it is you know that 15 minutes are there yes still we can discuss for 10 minutes we can discuss it if you ready we can take one more yes, topic sir. okay uh so let's see which topic we can discuss let's see make it can we take unemployment yes if you think this is simple for you can take yes unemployment okay we'll take unemployment let's start let's start now we will start it so girls are not participating only sharayu samruddhi i saw this time so where are other girls to start the discussion on unemployment simple topics they are very general topics we can talk it a lot about unemployment i think unemployment is not the issue for the today because uh, for the for getting employed we need to uh, we need to achieve some skills for that and that is the requirement for the employment and uh, that is not the issue for the today because uh, most of the people uh, not getting the uh, not getting their skills not getting skills about the uh, different things and they uh, they want to employ and uh, they want to uh, get the employed in any company that's why this is not the uh, this is uh, this is not the uh, this is uh, this is not the fair uh, we need to um, first we need to get uh, some information and some skill for our uh, for ready um, to get employed in any company or any other jobs and then we can uh, then we can get employed uh, at anywhere that's why that is not the issue for today i am totally disagree with you because of the today's uh, population of india is nearly about 14 million people uh, live in india so as uh, you said there is not uh, not fair they because uh, is unemployment in india but you are totally wrong because uh, today the rate of uh, an unemployment of in india is about 8% which is really very large because and that that really affect because there in that 8% there are lots of people who are 
belongs to the uh, villages and uh, they are uh, skillful really they are very skillful but they are not uh, there are a uh, very low background or uh, they are not uh, lived in the big uh, society so that's why they have very uh, lost opportunities in our india right now so i think the unemployment uh, is a uh, really uh, of in a very high in our india yes i completely agree with you quality education is still a dream for students who are living in villages many students don't have enough knowledge and that's why uh, their skills are not developing and which is drawback for them to compete worldwide and according to me rise in population along with the machines are replacing humans nowadays is the main reason of unemployment yes sir there are too many reasons like uh, lack of capital uh, then uh, lack of land lack of infra infrastructure many people uh, have to work on their business or uh, something to find a new business but they do not have any capital or land or in infrastructure it also can uh, it also can affect to unemployment yes but uh, employment is the main power of our india so we want it uh, in a uh, high number of uh, employment so it increases the economic economic growth uh, the dependence of employed uh, on the worker population increases uh, very highly so uh, due to unemployment that affect uh, the quality of life of uh, any man or uh, all, all over the society i think why we should always uh, think about uh, taking a job or uh, we will uh, take a degree and we'll go in any company and then we'll work there why we think uh, that uh, we'll start our own startup and we'll employ higher employees i think the main reason of unemployment in india is the less start less startups which are starting in india yes yes satnam bhai you are really uh, right but uh, uh, but with that uh, there are lots of people we uh, they ha don't have any background they don't have any money so what about them what do you think but uh, today's generation won't need any background or money because uh, uh, many schemes are uh, provided by the government which are really helpful for us who are uh, really wants to start their own startup and also we have the internet power so we can start our business online also yes and uh, uh, when we have the skills about anything then we can make our startup and uh, uh, we can uh, avoid the unemployment in our country there are uh, many platform like uh, youtube and uh, uh, such more others uh, on that we can show our skills and get uh, money for our future and get employed also therefore money problem is not the more issue at that time we can reduce unemployment by using uh, labor over the robots and accelerating investment in businesses in today's day we are known and the today's day is about uh, digital te technology there are lo lots of digital uh, uh, technology is uh, is uh, in our india so uh, this is also a reason because of unemployment uh, the uh, rate is increasing in every year uh, from our engineering 
there are 1.5 million uh, uh, engineers are uh, getting degree but uh, just a fewer of them are get uh, the employment the un unemployed student can uh, start his own business and uh, they can also earn money there is a lot of uh, ways to earn money we can start our business uh, using online uh, and uh, there is no need more money for that and we can also help to uh, we can get the help from the our government there are a lot of facilities from there yes i agree with you because in india 97% people think about a safe job or government job and only 3% people who think different and they start their own startup and they become a, they become good in their uh, career okay we will get concluded here so someone conclude this topic also the unemployment is a main main situation in our country we can minimize or reduce the unemployment due to use of labor over robots and uh, public training programs population control population is the main reason over un unemployment and uh, rural development is also there uh, promote manufacturer over the jobs is uh, we can uh, by this we can reduce unemployment thank you okay all right this was again short discussion but it was again nice everybody again you participated with equal enthusiasm and this time i found that you people are discussing it uh, maybe very uh, nicely in the beginning i think that introduction was missing so vijay you just learn how to start the topic how to give short introduction of the topic that is required in the beginning so you can't abruptly start the discussion like this so you can take note of it uh, avishkar if you want to just disagree just directly saying uh, i totally disagree you can be polite with uh, using the phrase i'm sorry but i am disagree with your opinion i'm afraid this is also one phrase you can use i'm afraid i disagree with you <clears throat> so that can be added uh, if you want to be more polite it's okay but uh, we should be more polite by using this phrases okay Uh, yes, sir. You. It was good. Uh, Ritesh. It was again. Uh, everything was fine. Conclusion was also okay. So, Pratik, Satna, pa, you raise really intelligent point here about startups and all those things. So, we can be just having such points here. So, uh, all you people discussed it very nicely. So, this was again nice discussion. But again, think that very few student participated here this time also. So I don't know why students don't participate because topics like unemployment they are related with us and we should have our own opinion about this or at least by listening other people. So there are people who are talking about jobs and employment and unemployment. So by listening others, we generate our own ideas. It gets struck or uh, we people feel that uh, as per our thinking, we uh, as per our knowledge, we get another ideas from this discussion. Okay, so you need to jump into discussion when you people feel that I have to say something. that time you have to participate so uh, only thing is that people are not participating more all right so with this we people will just uh, stop here today's time is also up we'll take attendance shortly quickly and for next lecture we will plan in this session okay so uh, as i told you we people can just go for next time uh, as from your discussion i would like to give the topic here and that will be of entrepreneurship okay so let's think if you are able to you have to prepare thoroughly go through this topic or a kind of similar a startup is there you people discussed in this so i want i would like to discuss this in next session so all of you people find lots of ideas for entrepreneurship for startups what are challenges what are pros what are cons what are difficulties what are failures risk management and ideas also uh, different fields like medical like entertainment like uh, farming like there are so many sectors okay 
uh, so we people just think some of the ideas also that we people can discuss here and uh, um, as you people have mentioned that uh, satnapa came with this point i think that 97% people think of safe job and only 3% people are thinking of entrepreneurship or startups so uh, let's make awareness it will be a discussion also and it will be useful for all of us also so this will be the topic for next time uh, which we will prepare and one topic i will give that will be on this spot uh, it can be like this gener generation gap we can give rutuja suggested me one topic it can be generation gap uh, let's think about what generation gap can be so depending upon how much time we get we will do it in next session so will it be okay yes sir okay fine so from division a uh, roll number 1 absent 2 absent then 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 absent 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 absent 22 absent 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 absent 31 32 33 34 absent 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 absent 42 43 absent 44 45 46 absent 47 48 absent 49 absent 50 51 absent 52 absent 53 54 55 56 57 58 59 60 57 and 77 okay uh this is from division a let's go to division b now from division b roll number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 53 54 55 56 57 58 59 60 61 62 63 64 65 66 67 68 69 70 71 72 73 74 75 76 77 78 79 80 81 82 83 84 85 86 87 88 89 90 44 upset 45 upset 46 then 47 upset 48 upset 49 upset 50 upset 51 52 upset 53 54 upset 55 56 57 58 59 60 61 upset 62 63 64 65 66 67 68 69 70 71 72 73 74 75 76 upset 77 78 also option so from division b option number sa 39 40 43 44 45 47 48 49 50 52 54 61 76 78 okay uh, so this is about attendance okay ritesh uh, remind me next time we can have this on this spot engineers dedication to society that we can take it Uh, but uh, for preparation you prepare on entrepreneurship and uh, we if time is there we will take one more that can be on this spot it can be any okay all right so with this note uh, should we stop here should i end this meeting for all any questions any suggestions should i end this meeting so you people reply with yes, yes or no okay fine mm -hmm. thank you for joining today and do join for the next session also